Whoa, it's Woolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash video and welcome to the 12 creations of Christmas. This is going to be a 12 part long series. It is creation focused. I am going to hop into the gauntlets and go through each and every theme apart from like the bonus gauntlet, the doom gauntlet, the death gauntlet, because those are similar to the demon gauntlet in their theme. There's 12 total themes. I'm going to make one level that kind of skips across all 12 of them. Brand new level. I'm going to be using the song F. 777 not afraid i'm going to be using a 31 second start offset roughly this is where freshery by namtar starts obviously i'm not going to be able to decorate a level of that caliber i am going to try my best to make a nice themed level using it because i feel like the kind of sound fits into many different themes like fire ice poison i can make it work as long as i have glow and stuff it should be fine I'm gonna use the 2.0 cave background as well because i feel like that's also very versatile in what it can be used for plus it is a gauntlet you know i want to have some sort of cave like look to it even if I don't always opt for that visual style all the way through. I'm going to set some teleporters at the very beginning to group one, which I always make invisible. Try and mix up the structures a bit and not just make them pillars. See already, I can definitely wrap this round and get something interesting on the edge, except I need to make it a bit longer because those orbs aren't synced to the dun dun after the fall. There we go. Now, obviously, I don't have anything to really go off of when it comes to gauntlets since the themes aren't really stuck to. So this is going to kind of be freestyle. I want to try and use the fire objects in the orb tab because I never really use those kind of objects. I use these ones in Slaughterhouse, the top 10 remix series, but never really use these objects. Just placing some saws and spikes in areas you're not supposed to jump. I want to keep the structuring minimalistic so it's very easy to sight read. I'm going to put a couple of J blocks on the edge right here just to make sure you can't hold from the orb input and accidentally jump but i actually put ground spikes on top of this block that could work okay i'm gonna quickly make a potential design with these mini blocks what i'm gonna do is scale them up set the base to black and put the detail as orange blending i don't want to put it as the object line because the object line is going to be pulsing and stuff so i feel like that works for a block at the top if i put it on b1 and don't fade don't enter and stuff we can copy paste it like that and i wonder if i just copy pasted and flipped would that look all right yeah i did that by accident but that looks neat hold on so my idea with this part is that it transitions into ice round about here hey this is some pretty good immediate design honestly i like it okay then i gotta put some base blocks in these on b2 underneath that layer don't fade don't enter once again the blocks are looking a lot more established within the level pulse background and that can go copy itself with more brightness and a bit more saturation maybe if that's even possible then at the same time i can make the object line go to black cool the orange needs to change i've added all of the cube objects to a new group two okay pulse right here for group two main only which is the outline can go to the orange that the detail is on and at the same time the detail can go to black so they kind of swap the object line can also go to black at this point the spikes can probably be on that group as well you know and the saws Oh, okay, then all we have to do is offset these a little bit from each other and set them to black. The objects that are already black can go to the orange, so it's still a color change. Look at this. This is cool looking. The glow on the objects kind of makes it, I'm not going to lie. That looks so cool. Let me show you what it looks like in low detail mode in game. If I go to the front settings, low detail mode. See, the glow inside the objects won't be there and it doesn't look quite as good. Okay, I'm going to place some ground spikes on the inside of some of these structures because it looks cool. So these are object blending. I'm going to put a background in next, I think, on editor layer three. What I'm going to do is scale up this square object, put it on black. B3, don't fade, don't enter, I think. Then I put some glow around the outside and scale it up just to fit that point give that a new group for the movement group and give it a unique group for the pillar so like that then we copy paste and every 10 blocks we just have one of these strips then we shall copy paste put on editor layer 4 give it group 5 and this can be orange blending you see how bright that is that's gonna look super cool when it's alongside the bright orange objects and it goes behind the bricks as well and lights them up which is cool god bless the rob top objects for having opacity built into them okay lock here 
for like 1,000 million seconds. And then four can move on first. 100 blocks, we'll put ease in out. We'll do the same for five, but change this to minus 80 or something and put it later. Four can move minus 400 in like 15 seconds or whatever. Five can go 600. I don't know. Those numbers seem kind of weird to me, but we'll see when they swipe over. Right, let's double their movement onto the screen. Okay, this is looking a lot more lit up than before. It looks a lot more infernal, if I can say that. We can add a third layer to this on six, adding different numbers that are similar. Okay, then we're going to scale up a fire object, put it on base orange blending, which is the outline around the outside, and the detail is going to be black blending. So we just have a fire outline right here. We're going to add that to group three, which is the locked movement. Six, which is the new one that we just added. B4, so it goes all the way to the bottom. And we copy paste it 14 times. So we have 15 objects. Then we're going to copy paste it upwards like this. So we have a huge bright pillar. And we're also going to give this a new opacity, which is going to be about 30 to 40%. That looks a bit extreme, doesn't it? Hold on. <laughs> so this should add like an animated layer behind everything. This is looking cool in the editor. I'm not going to lie, but this is going to be animated in game. So it's going to look even better. Please look good. Uh, it looks all right. It doesn't look great. I think it's because the transition on it kind of threw me off, but that looks all right. Honestly, there's something so satisfying about the background not moving off in an ugly way when you're playtesting an early version of it. Like, look at that. That's so smooth. Okay, let me see if I can incorporate that fire into an underlay design, like right here. If I scale that up, that's about a block long, right? If I put that on the same numbers again, don't have to put a low opacity this time, I don't think. And I can keep on flipping it every time I copy paste, I guess. I just want to make a cool looking pillar. That's Mm, hold on. Can I put this B3 maybe and shove it under the block? It kind of gets in the way and makes that block messy. Half space then. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's a thing that I can do, but I'm not sure if it's a good thing that I can do. You know what I mean? Hmm. Wait, why don't I just make this object color? Why am I so silly? Okay, now I'm going to try and make some kind of ground spiky, not really ground spiky decoration. Let me scale some slopes up to two times and kind of rotate them around a little bit. Oh god, it's impossible not to use preview mode, man. That is stupid. Hey, okay, maybe I could put a saw here to kind of round it off. We'll slow down the rotation and we'll check it out in normal mode. What's the harm in it, right? Uh, it, it's not bad. Why is that not bad? It should be bad. Let me see if I can polish it a bit, though, with some corner circle objects just to kind of round it off. Yeah, the glow on the saw kind of works with it as well, you know? Yeah, okay, we can just have that kind of floating there. Is this going to get overused? Probably. But it looks okay, so I don't mind it, right? It's black objects, bam, but I'm going to call it original because it's the winter season. It doesn't look like the winter season, does it? But it's the winter season. I want to be positive, man. When the song goes, Mer, I am going to add a post trigger for the color channel 9, which is black. That could be kind of fire. We've got to make spike and saw designs. We can probably make them quite similar to each other if I just use some more fire objects on top. Black on black, and we put that on T2 on top of the spike, right? That looks okay. This can just be used for the big ones. I don't want to overuse this. I'm actually going to scale it down when it's doubled up like that. How can I put that on the saws, though? Maybe if I flip it and then rotate it around itself. Let me scale up some glow on black blending with a new group eight. And this can have a pulse trigger attached to it. Super bright orange because the flames pulse super bright here. And I want to match the energy of it with some glow. Let's move that a bit closer. And we can copy paste this onto some other objects like this yellow. Gotta remember to press build helper every time. Hey, that is actually super bright. It looks good against everything else. I wonder if I take the first one and put it on like B4. I can put it underneath the objects, right? So I could just spam this everywhere and it will light up as the player goes on. So we're kind of lightening up the level as we go on. What I wanted this to feel like was an escape from like a burning area, but it's not really feeling like that. Yay, it's looking all glowy now. I actually do like the light orange. It ties a lot of the colors that I've used together. And now I just need to add some air decoration, honestly, and this will be done. Although I am going to scale up some chains on B4 again. Don't fade, don't enter. What I did is just copy pasted them, scaled them down and rotated them around themselves. Okay, so I've selected the whole level, put on don't fade, don't enter. Then I'm going to individually select each layer that I want to have block transitions. So all of the fire, all of the mini blocks, all of the glow, I think. Let me see if this one works. Okay, this is probably the one, honestly. I like that. Gonna make a quick arrow design. This is gonna be three, and it's gonna be low opacity seven. 
Then we're going to scale up an object color blending arrow. Also be a low opacity and we'll scale it down a little bit so it has a bit of overlap to it. And then I'll put this object in the middle, scale down and take it off the opacity. Cool, that's a nice looking arrow. Maybe put the second diamond on. Yeah, that's better. Second diamond's on half opacity now. Nice. Okay, I think this is done. That's the first part of the 12 creations of Christmas right there. Not very... <laughs> festive but thank you for watching this episode of the 12 creations of christmas check the links in the description leave a like and subscribe and have a good day